Oh, Captain, rocks and rough waters ahead. Dashi, activate steering wheel. All clear, Captain. Thanks, Dashi. Should be smooth sailing ahead. Well, at least until we hit the Roaring Forties. The Roaring Forties? The Roaring Forties are a part of the ocean with very rough water and powerful waves. Ooh. Nothing to worry about, Peso. I've piloted the octopod safely through these waters many times before. How did you learn to pilot the octopod so well, Captain? Practice. Lots of practice. And lots of late nights spent reading this manual. <laughs> <laughs> How to Pilot the Octopod, 3rd edition, written by Captain Barnacles. It covers everything I've learned about piloting the octopod. In fact, Peso, it might be a good idea for you to give it a read. Me? But I'm a medic. Well, you never know when we might need a backup pilot. Ooh. All right, I'll read it. I'm not sure I'll understand any of it, but I'll try. <laughs> Oh, clean me, hearty. Huh? Well, now. This shell would make a fine addition to me collection. Who are you calling a shell? Uh, I'm a cold snail, see? Uh, nobody puts me in a collection, see? Sorry, little fella. I, I just... Uh, yeah! oh! ah! <sighs> I feel... I feel kind of funny. Uh... What's going on out here? <gasps> Me, oh my. Come in, Peso. There's something wrong with Quasi. Don't worry, Quasi. You're going to be all right. What could have caused this, Peso? I'm not sure. It's almost like he's been poisoned. But by what? It stung me. What stung you, Quasi? No, Quasi didn't sting me. I'm Quasi. Tunip was there when it happened, Cap. Tell him what you saw. He says it had a swirly shell about this big. Was this the creature? Jumping jellyfish. What is it, Shellington? It's a cone snail. No wonder Quasi is acting so strange. A cone snail sting is full of poison. And it must still be here, somewhere on the ship. We'd better find it before anyone else gets stunned. Shellington, sound the octo alert. Octonauts to the launch bay. Octonauts, there's a dangerous cone snail somewhere aboard the ship. We need to find it and release it back into the water. Cone snail, you say? Ah, yes, little fellows that can sting you with tiny harpoons. And they have up to 20 harpoons ready to fire, each full of poison that can make you very sick. Captain, there's no medicine for a cone snail sting. Time and rest are the only cure. But why would it sting Quasi? It was probably just scared and trying to protect itself. We'll have to be very, very careful around it. Octonauts, let's split up and find that cone snail. Uh, no, nobody captures me, see? <gasps> oh! <gasps> Leave me alone, will ya? Um. <gasps> Huh. <gasps> Octonauts, any sign of the cone snail? Not yet, Cap. Anyone else? No. <laughs> oh, no. Inkling, Dashy and Shellington have all been stung. Peso, I'm bringing three more patients to the sick bay. Aye, aye, Captain. Oh. Tweak, the cone snail must be somewhere in the octo chutes. I need you to close them off. On it, Cap. I'll let you know as soon as... <gasps> Tweak, are you all right? Oh, my. Oh, me. Oh. Peso, you'd better prepare one more bed. <laughs> oh. Oh. How are you doing, Peso? 
This is a lot of patients to take care of at once. Don't worry, Captain. I'm a medic. Taking care of people is what I do. Luckily, I have some help. <laughs> hmm. He must be in the vents. Right. I'm going after him. <laughs> Watch it! What's the big idea? Captain, you did it! <laughs> oh no, you were stung. Just rest easy, Captain. Everything will be... Oh dear. What's happening? Uh, ships entering the Roaring Forties. Very rough water. Need to get through. No, Captain. You're uh, too weak. Oh, oh, yes. Somebody has to pilot the ship. And that person is you, Peso. Me? <gasps> Peso, use the manual. You can do this. But, but, Captain... You've learned 317 ways to bandage an injured fin. You've performed crevectomies in the frozen Arctic. Oh. Those are medic skills. And I've done those things lots of times. But there was a first time. We're all counting on you. I... I... I have to try. Tunip, keep an eye on my patience. <laughs> all right. Um, autopilot off. Activate steering wheel and turn on the octolift. Whoa! Captain, we made it to the steering wheel. Uh-oh. Big rock. What do I do? It says don't steer, but I have to steer around the rock or we crash. Keep one hand on the wheel. Use the other to engage the rudder. You can do this, Peso. <laughs> engage rudder! Whoa! I can do this! Oh, I can't do this! What do I do? Rocks and rough waters? It's not in here. What do I do? You do the one thing that isn't in the manual. Trust yourself. Trust myself? But I'm a medic. I don't pilot ships. I take care of people. Hold on. I am taking care of people. Everybody on board the Octopod is counting on me. I can do this! Gonesnail, uh, loose on ship. Peso's in danger. the ship back to autopilot and check on my patients. Ah! Hey, so look out! Cone snail! Huh? Hey, so I'm, I'm all right. Wow, the ship's manual really did come in handy in more ways than one. Sorry for all the trouble. I, I was scared, see, and I was only trying to protect myself, see? No hard feelings, eh? No, just a bit of a sore paw. Tweak, open the octo hatch so our cone snail friend can go free. Sure thing, Cap. See you later, see? Bye bye. bye. Hey, hey. Whee! Peso, I was very proud of you today. You saved the ship. I'm just glad everyone's feeling better. Uh. You might want to tell that to the vegetables, matey. <laughs> I'm fine. I'm leaving. 
And here's a picture of my little brother Pinto. Lovely. Hi. And here's one of my big brother Pogo. Ah, you look just like him. Ha <laughs> ha, yeah! Here's me again. Oh, nice picture, Peso. Good one, matey. And here's me, Pinto, Pogo, Piñata, Grandma Perdita, Uncle Pepe, Aunt Pepita, Cousin Petina. Yeah, there's so many of them. How do you keep track of all those relatives? Easily. I love having a big family. We all look out for each other. Captain, it's Dashi. You better come to HQ as fast as you can. There's something you need to see. We're on our way. There's a big volcano nearby, and it looks like it's about to erupt. A volcano? But we're in the middle of the ocean. There are volcanoes even on the ocean floor, Peso. See, we're over here in the octopod, and deep down over here is the volcano. Right now, incredibly hot lava and steam are building up underneath. Soon, it'll erupt. And all that hot lava will come bursting up and out into the water. Wow, that looks dangerous. It is dangerous, but the volcano is so deep down, we should be safe up here. I'm worried about all the animals who live around the volcano. Aye, Captain. Dashy, sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, our mission is to get all the creatures away from the volcano as fast as we can. Dashy, Shellington, keep us informed of the volcano's activity. Aye, aye, aye Captain. Captain. Quasi, Peso, into the gup. Tweak, open the octo hatch. Got it, Cap. should see the volcano any second now. Keep your eyes peeled. Look, there it is. <sighs> Shellington to Captain Barnacles. Go ahead, Shellington. Captain, the volcano is getting hotter and the lava is rising. I'm afraid there's not much time before it erupts. Understood, Shellington. We need to get all the creatures out of here fast. Attention everyone. This is Captain Barnacles of the Octonauts. You must all leave here right away. The volcano is about to erupt. Erupt? <coughs> Can't go any Faster! Oh no, that sea urchin can't move very fast. Don't worry, we'll help anyone who's having trouble getting away. Put on your deep sea suits. Quasi, you take care of the spiky creatures. This grabber could come in handy. Uh, aye! Peso, you take care of the slimy creatures with this net. Got it. And I'll take care of the creatures hidden in the rocks. Remember, Octonauts, leave no sea creature behind. Ready! Ahoy there, urchin! Let's get you to safety! Oh, thanks! Aha! There's a slimy one. And it looks like it could use my help. Don't worry, I'm here to help you. stuck to this rock like, well, clams stuck to a rock. Don't worry. If you clams can't get off this rock, then I'll get this rock off the volcano. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> oh, Another slimy creature that might need our help. 
Excuse me, but... Shh! Uh, there's a volcano. Quiet. Mm. Mm. Delicious. I'm a blobfish, and blobfish don't go after food. We wait for it to come to us. I've been watching and waiting for lunch for hours now, and I didn't want to miss it. Oh, I'm Peso, and... I'm Bob. Bob the Blobfish. But you could call me Bob. Bob, I usually wouldn't interrupt your lunch, but this volcano is going to erupt. Didn't you feel it rumbling? Oh, I did feel some rumbling, but I thought it was just me tummy. <laughs> I'm afraid I need to get you out right away for your own safety. Well, I can't leave without my brothers, Bob and Bob. We're the three blobs named Bob. <laughs> Bob lives way over that way. Hey there! And Bob, he lives way over this way. Hiya! We're the three bob -cateers. Bob for all and all for Bob. Peso, we need your help. Someone's hurt down here. Oh, no! Don't worry about Bob, Bob and me. OK. But please hurry. No problem. Oh, <laughs> I mean problem. <laughs> Tentacle! It hurts! I help any creature who is sick or hurt. Let's get this off first. You need a bandage. There. Good as new. Thanks. Lean on me, matey. Now let's get you out of here. Shellington to Captain Barnacles. Go ahead, Shellington. Captain, time is running out. The volcano will erupt in the next five minutes. Got it, Shellington. Let's do one last check and make sure everyone's out. Meet back at the Cup A in three minutes. Yes, Captain. Captain Barnacles to Quasi. Is everyone out of your area? Aye, Captain. All clear. Whoa! Get back to the cup as fast as you can. Peso, is your area clear? Yes, Captain. Oh, no. They're still here. It's Bob, Bob and Bob. Captain, there are three blobfish right over the volcano. We're on our way, Peso. Come on, Quasi. Oh, I'm coming for you, Bob and Bob. But you're so far away. Bob! Peso! We have to get you and your brothers out of here. Oh, I thought I could do it by myself, but the truth is, I have no muscles. I'm all jiggly like a jelly. I can barely move. Don't worry. We're here to help. Shellington to Captain. You should get out of there now. We're on our way. Peso, you take Bob. Quasi, you take Bob. Oh, but, but what about Bob? Bob's with me. Octonauts, let's do this. Oh, tickle, tickle, here. That tickles. Let's go! Good work, Octonauts! Yes, sir, Bob and Bob. It's a good thing the Octonaut got us out of there. I sure am glad to see you both. I would visit more often, but it's just so hard for us blobfish to travel. But look at us now. We're all on holiday together. Hey, thanks, Peso. No bloblin. <laughs> 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 Captain, 
We're entering the coldest Arctic water. Now coming up to an ice pack. Excellent, Dashy. Steady as she goes. Aye, aye, Captain. At this speed, we'll reach the North Pole before nightfall. I can't wait to meet creatures that only live in the Arctic. Ah, the joys of polar life. I remember being a cub. Rolling in the snow, sliding on the ice, diving into the freezing water. I really miss it. Can't wait to get out there for an icy swim. <sighs> You're giving me the chills. I need some nice hot chocolate. It's only cold if you move slowly, Quasi. Keep swimming and you'll stay warm. It's as simple as that. <sighs> In just a few minutes, we'll be out from under this ice pack. Then we can set the octopod down and... Uh-oh. What is it, Dashy? The octopod's getting so cold that my computer's frozen, Captain. I'm... I'm having trouble steering the ship. Cap, we better keep the octopod moving, or the engines will freeze and stop working. We can't let that happen, or we'll all be in... Big trouble. Dashy, activate manual steering now. Right away, Captain. Full speed ahead, Octonauts! It feels good to get my paws on the ship's steering wheel again. We're right back on course again, Captain. Looks sharp. Aye, sharp enough to slice right through the octopod like butter. But the captain will steer us safely through. Ow! Giant iceberg, dead ahead! Whoa! That was a close one, Quasi! <laughs> oh, the ocean deep is the life for me. Jumping off from board, sailing out to sea on the octopod, just you and me. And a million fish in the deep blue sea. Give me whiskers. Ice avalanche! Turn, turn, turn left! Turn right! There's nowhere to turn. We've got to stop the ship. Now. <gasps> Ten seconds till we hit the ice wall. Oh, ah! A fast, you mutinous, scurvy octopod! Stop! Six seconds till we hit the wall. Five. Hold on! <laughs> Three, two, oh. one. It's okay. We've stopped. I know, but you're standing on my foot. Oh, sorry. Phew, that was close, mateys. Now what, Captain? If we can't go forward, then we go back the way we came. Trapped. Dashy, sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts, to the HQ. Captain, are we in trouble? Well, Peso, we're trapped here in the freezing cold waters of the Arctic Ocean. Surrounded on all sides by ice, with no clear way to escape. So that's a yes, then? Ah, you know, these ice walls are often quite thin. It might be possible to break through one of them. Aye, let me out there in the gut B, Captain. I'll smash that ice to smithereens. Or I could add a drill to the gut D and... Uh-oh. I was afraid this might happen. What might happen, Tweak? We stop moving, and it's so cold that ice is clogging the engines, shutting them down. Cut 
cutting off all power to the Octopod. Ah, no good. The ice is too thick. If only I could find a place where the ice is thin. What's that noise? Captain, look over there. Something's breaking through the ice wall. <gasps> A blast! Tis the legendary deep sea unicorn! Ha! Ah, that's no unicorn. It's a narwhal. A narwhal? A narwhal. Fascinating. It's a very special type of whale with a spiral tusk growing from its head. They only live here in the Arctic. That tusk is actually a long tooth, very much like an elephant's. By the way, unicorns are make-believe. Narwhals, on the other hand, are quite real. I knew that. Hello, Boris. Barnacles? <laughs> what a surprise. It's good to see you, old friend. It's good to see you too. I've known Boris ever since I was a cub. Yes, he was quite something, this bear. Always a leader, even as a young cub. But what are you doing inside all this ice? Our engines have frozen. We could really use your help getting out of here, old friend. But of course. My tusk is very, very good at telling if things are warm or cold. I can lead you out of the ice and into warmer, open water. Thank you, Boris. Now, we just have to work out how to get the ship moving again. Cap, the Octa engines are frozen solid. In that case, I'm gonna need to change gups. Tweak, prepare the gup C. Okay, everyone, here we go. Arr! One more time. There. Oh no! I don't believe it! Another solid wall of ice! Allow me, my friend! What's he doing? Using his tusk to feel how thick the walls are. Remarkable! As I thought, is always one place where the ice is thinnest. <coughs> You better swim aside, old friend. Thank you, Boris. You're very welcome, old friend. Temperatures are returning to normal, sir. And the engines are starting back up. Good work, Octonauts. So, now that we're free, who'd care to join me for a nice little icy water swim? Uh, gotta go clean up the launch bay. Uh, uh, no thanks. I've got to um, polish my spyglass. Yes, uh, and I have to, um, uh, Clean up the lab. Yes, that's it. Oh, suit yourselves. <laughs> this is the life. Oh, the ocean deep is the life for me. Shoving off from port and sailing out to sea on the octopod. Just you and me. Yeah, and a million fish in the deep blue sea. <laughs> 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 there, that should do it. The guppies all fixed up, 
Again. I tweak. She looks better than ever. And take a look. I added this special turbo button. It'll give you an extra burst of power if you're in an emergency. Aye, or a race. I can't wait to take her out for a little test drive. Open the octo hatch, me hearty! Uh, okay. But, Quasi, use that turbo button only in an emergency! I'd better make sure this thing works. Storm Tracker. Hmm. Activating Octoscope. Hmm. <laughs> it's a big storm, and it's heading straight for us. Dashi, sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts to the HQ. Octonauts, we have to get the octopod ready before this storm gets here. If a storm is big above water, it'll be just as big below water, too. Dashi, let us know when the storm gets closer. Aye, aye, sir. Peso, close all the outer portals. Aye, aye, Captain. Tweak, pull in the octopod arms. Aye, aye, sir. And Quasi, start turning off the engines so we can... Quasi? Hmm. Where is Quasi, anyway? Uh, he's test driving the gut B. Outside! Tonight? Oh, it's nothing. Stick close to your family. Whoa! That's a big family. Where's everybody going? Out of the reef to deeper water. That way we'll be safe from the big storm. Big storm? What big storm? The one that's heading this way, mister. If there's a storm coming, I'd better make sure everyone in the reef is safe. So long, matey! Yow! You sure have a big... Grip for a little lobster. Thanks, mister. See ya. Mom! Mom! He said I have a big grip. That's nice, dear. Quasi, can you hear me? This is urgent. There's a big storm on the way, and you've got to get back to the octopod before it gets here. Aye, 
Just let me do a quick check of the reef to make sure everyone's safe. Don't worry, Captain. I'll get back before the storm gets here. Captain, the storm is coming quickly. It's only ten minutes away. Quasi, we'll keep the Octa hatch open for as long as we can. Thanks, Captain. Yow! Sea oh. urchin in trouble! Away. Aye, aye. Gotcha. Eight minutes. Almost done here. All done. I'm heading home. Farewell. Only seven minutes. Can you hear me? Get back to the octopod now. Can you hear me? Captain, I... Only five minutes till the storm gets here. Ah. Twig, get the Gup C ready. I'm going after him. Be ready to close the octa hatch the second we're back inside. I'm almost with you, Quasi! The tow line. It might just work. Captain, only one minute left. Thanks, Dashy. The water's starting to come in the octa hatch. We have to close it. No, Twig. Wait. Keep the octa hatch open. to close the octa hatch. We'll be home in ten. Nine. Eight. Hold on tight, seven, little lobster. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Oh, yeah. You gave us a real scare. If it weren't for this little lobster's big grip, yow, we wouldn't have made it back. Oh, it was nothing. Hey, this is a great place to stay safe in a storm. Hmm. That was some test drive, Quasi. Looks like I have a lot of work to do. But first, would anybody like some hot chocolate? Aye, aye. Me too. Extra marshmallows for me. Those little lights are up ahead. 
Shellington? It could be a group of tiny firefly squid, Captain. They glow in the dark. Let's dim the lights so we can get a better look at them. Already on it, Captain. I still can't tell what they are for certain. They don't seem to be moving. Then let's get a little closer. Closer. Ah! Jumping jellyfish! Dashy, put us in reverse and pull away. I'm trying, Captain, but something's got us. Oh! Oh! Switch to steering wheel mode now. Ah! Must break free. Ah! Oh! oh dear. Ow! What? Shiver me whiskers. Lapperty flippers. It's no good, we're held tight. Dashy, lights, let's see what's got us. Aye, aye, Captain. <gasps> it's an enormous eye. Those itty bitty lights around my eye fooled you, didn't they? You didn't know they belonged to big old me. We mean you no harm. Please, let go of us at once. No. Uh, I grab it, I keep it. You weird looking squid. Dashy, sound the up to alert. Whoa. Octonauts, to the HQ. Shellington, any idea what's grabbed us? Yes, it's a colossal uh, squid. It's like my cousin, the giant squid, only oh, bigger. It's uh, the biggest squid in the ocean. I wish it would stop shaking us. No more shaking. Phew, that was easy. Time for squeezing. Yeah, he'll crush the octopod. Not if we match him tentacle for tentacle. Tweak. I've got just the thing, Cap. Wearing this tentacle suit, Professor Inkling will be able to move the arms of the octopod as if they were his own. Whoa! I may not be good at pushing buttons, but I'm an expert at tentacle wrestling. Excellent. Activate tentacle suit. Twist to the side. Now down. That's it! Aha! You're swashbuckling like a proper pirate, Professor! Ugh, oh my! I need to break free before he gets his hooks in us! Hooks? What hooks? The colossal squid has hooks on the ends of his tentacles! Yeah, which makes it quite a challenge to get away from him! Almost there! Just a few more twists and turns, and we'll be... <gasps> Ink Cloud! A classic move from the Squid Playbook. Oh no! I can't see where his tentacles are. That's right! Eat my ink! <laughs> I'm taking you down! Way down! <laughs> Captain, I'm afraid he's hooked us! Understood. Quasi, to the launch bay. Here's the plan. We'll swim outside and use our own paws to pry those hooks off the ship. <laughs> ah, these hooks are no match for a swashbuckling pirate. For every hook we loosen, two more move into place. <laughs> This will take all my polar bear strength. Got it! Captain, incoming tentacle! Thanks, Quasi. Anytime. Better keep moving. Captain, there's something heading straight for us. It's a pod of sperm whales, and sperm whales love to eat colossal squid. Ooh, I don't like the sound of that. If the sperm whales try to eat the colossal squid, 
then they might take a bite out of the octopod too. Oh, it's every squid for himself. I'm getting out of here. Oh, oh, oh. Stop holding on to me. Let go. You're the one who's hooked on to us. You're right. I'm stuck. I'll never get away from the sperm whales if I can't move fast enough. Captain, the sperm whales are getting closer. Oh, we're doomed! Don't worry, we'll keep you and the octopod safe from the sperm whales. Octonauts, prepare all gups for launch. There you are, our colossal dinner. Octonauts, let's do this. Oh, hey! This is fun! Everyone, pull up! Up, 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 up! Now, back down! Oh, down! They're still chasing us. Yes, Peso, but sperm whales breathe air. So sooner or later, they'll have to swim back up to the surface to breathe. <sighs> Can't keep going. Must go up for air. Good work, Octonauts. Oh, thank you. You guys saved me. Um, I'm sorry about almost crushing your ship and stuff. No harm done. Well, not much anyway. And now, let's help you unhook yourself from the octopod. No, no. You just take it easy. Really, I can do it. Watch out, matey. Your hooks are digging in deeper. Just a little tentacle trouble, that's all. Are you sure you don't need some help? Hold your seahorses. I can do it. I'll just brace myself. Oh. And give it a good swall. Yes! No! Oops, sorry. <laughs> oh no! Tunip and the vegetables are in there! Ah! They're sinking fast! We've no time to lose. Everybody, die! <laughs> Dark. I can't see the pod. I see it! I see it! You're pulling me poor. It's too dark down here to see anything. I have the biggest eyes in the ocean. And I can see just fine without light. Then let's use your squid vision. Where are they now? I'm looking. I'm looking. Uh-oh! Down! Go down! Everyone, die! The other way! Bring the gups around! Hurry! They're heading for some sharp rocks! You've got one free tentacle. Reach out with it now and grab them if you can. All right. I think I've got it. Oh, I've got it! Octonauts, pull up! Well done. Sometimes a spare tentacle really comes in handy. I'm great at grabbing, but I have a hard time letting go. I guess I could use some help after all. Operation Untangle Tentacles begins now. all your tentacles are back where they belong, it's time to return one of ours. Tweak? Okay, big guy. Bring up the pod. That's it. Up a little more. Down a little. A little more. Now to your left. <laughs> uh, to your other left. Got it! Super, super! Good work, everyone. I think this calls for a tentacle bump. Yeah! Easy now. Watch the hooks, matey. <laughs> Open up and say, ah. Uh. Ah! Very good. Say, ah. Uh. Ah! Good. Say, ah. Uh. Ah! 
No, not ah! Just ah! Ah! Mmm, parrotfish, just in time for lunch. Ooh, I've never tried a penguin before. Oh, I know I shouldn't eat you. You seem so nice, but I'm a great white shark. I can't help it. Couldn't you try to help it? Aye, all right. Trying. No, gotta eat you. Sorry. <gasps> Looks like a big metal fish. Never tried one of those. Captain Barnacles, come in. What is it, Peso? I'm being chased by a great white shark. <laughs> and he got a piece of the gum. <laughs> Weak, open the octo hatch now. You got it, Cap. <laughs> That's horrible. I think I'd rather have the penguin. Just a little bit further, Peso. Tweak, close the octo hatch now. Ouch! What happened? Cap, the shark is stuck. But if we open the hatch any further, he'll get in. We need to create enough water pressure to blast the shark out without hurting him. Tweak, activate Super Flush. It worked. The shark is out. But look. <laughs> the shark must have hurt his fin swimming into the octopod. Looks like he could use a bandage. I suppose we should. Sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts to the HQ. Octonauts, there's an injured great white shark out there that needs our help. But we must be careful. The great white shark is one of the most powerful predators in the sea. And one of the hungriest. That's true. He does like to eat, and he'll try just about anything to see if he likes it. If he doesn't, he'll just spit it out. Well, I'm not afraid of any shark. I don't care how great he is. Peso, I can bandage him. Um, Quasi, I'm the medic. It's my job to help any creature who is hurt or sick, no matter what. <laughs> Shellington, is there a way to safely approach the great white shark? There is one way. Sometimes, when a shark is flipped over on its back, it gets very calm and peaceful. But he only stays that way for a short amount of time. I could bandage the shark if it were calm and peaceful, but he's swimming away. Oh! Ooh. Oh! Oh! Many sharks have to keep moving to stay alive. If they stop moving, they can't breathe. Then we'll need to flip the shark over to calm him down. Keep him moving so he can breathe, and then Peso can bandage him up. Tweak, prepare the Gup X. Great white shark straight ahead. Attention, shark. We are the Octonauts, and we're here to help. Ooh, that looks tasty. It's all right. I'd like to take a look at your fin. Then I can... <laughs> As I was saying, I... <laughs> oh, I know I should just say thank you for trying to help me. <laughs> but a shark's got to eat. <laughs> he can't eat the cup eggs. <laughs> oh, he's getting tired. And if he gets too tired, he'll stop moving and he won't be able to breathe. Then we need to act fast. Quasi, can you go out there and distract the shark while I flip him over? My pleasure, Captain. Yow! Oi, you shark! Uh, can you not see him trying to eat? You can't take a bite out of that. Plus, I'm a lot tastier. Seriously? Ooh, I'll try anything once. Well, you'll have to catch me first, matey. Woohoo! 
Oh, my fun hearts. Mm, I'm still gonna get you. <laughs> yeah, shocky, shocky. Follow me this way. Ah, good work, Quasi. And flip. Oh, I feel so calm. Do you still want to eat us? Why would I want to eat you? I just want to be your friend. Captain, he's in a trance. Calm as a clam. Time for the next part of the plan. <laughs> that kind of tickles. <laughs> Good for a ride. OK, the shark is calm, he's moving, and he's breathing. Now I can bandage his fin. Be careful, Peso, and quick. The shark won't be calm for long. <laughs> Righto, Peso. Nice and steady. Ah! Ooh, a wee penguin. I'm here to bandage your fin. <laughs> that tickles, Pop. <laughs> Uh-oh, I didn't know you were ticklish. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Steady. Just have to get down to the fin. <laughs> OK, I think this calls for... A super speedy triple loop around the shark fin rack. <laughs> Hurry, Peso. He could come out of his trance any second. <laughs> there. Ah. Good as new. How do you feel? Oh, good. I'm hungry. <gasps> oh, no. You're out of your trance. <laughs> Peso! Flappity flippers. You saved my life. I should just say thank you, but I'm hungrier than ever. Hop on, matey! <laughs> a cat, a penguin, and a crunchy motor thingy. It's an all you can eat party! Hey, I feel fantastic. Was he the shark's after us? No problem. We just need some more speed. Hold on! <laughs> <laughs> Quasi, keep away from the shark for as long as you can. Copy that, Captain! Woohoo! I've got an idea. <laughs> Tunip, come in. Uh, butter? I need an extra large supply of fish biscuits. Oh, butter trouble. Shooter, Judith. <laughs> All right, Quasi, try to lead the shark towards the surface. I've got a little snack for him. <laughs> Come on, Sharky, right this way. Quasi, look. Captain, we're almost out of power. Can you get the octoski up in the air? Aye, aye, Captain. Oh, oh, yummy! Bullseye! Yeah, we better get out of here. Uh oh. You're right. Don't worry, guys. I'm not hungry. You're not? Nope. The most delicious fish biscuits just flew into my mouth. It was so strange. And now I don't have to eat you, which is great, because I love you guys. You fixed my fin. Thanks. But just a warning. I could get hungry again. In that case, how about a little dessert? <laughs> Hold still, Puffy. Yow! Up for a little table tennis, Peso? Not now, Quasi. I'm 
helping this little porcupine puffer with a sore spike, but it's going to be all better soon. All better? Really? Give a wiggle and see. You, one eye's looking this way and the other's looking that way. A porcupine puffer's eyes can look in two different directions at the same time. Careful not to startle Puffy here, or else he'll... Yeah! Ooh! Yeah! <coughs> <coughs> Hello, Captain. I, I was just, uh, practising me sword fighting. Ah, with a table tennis bat. <laughs> Quasi was just startled when Puffy puffed up. I do this when I'm scared to stay safe. And with these spikes, the bigger fish would have a hard time eating me. And it's a good thing, too. Porcupine puffers are really poisonous. It's okay, Puffy. <laughs> hey, my spike is starting to feel better. Thanks, Peso. Off you go then, Puffy. Bye bye. <laughs> there he goes. Good work, Peso. Another happy patient. Quasi, what's that big grey thing swimming towards Puffy? Oh, uh, that's just, um. Whale shark! Puffy, look out! With at least one of those crazy eyes of yours! Oh no! Peso, sound the Octo Alert! Octonauts to the HQ! Octonauts, this mission is a double rescue. We've got to save a porcupine puffer and the whale shark who's just swallowed him. Porcupine puffers are small, but they're one of the most poisonous creatures in the ocean. If the puffer gets into the whale shark's stomach, he'll be turned into food. And his poison will spread and make the whale shark very sick. We've got to get him out and fast. For both their sakes. Peso, Quasi, to the launch bay. <laughs> Rope? Check. Fish pack? Check. Uh, what does this do? It's a fish pack. You just pull that cord and you got yourself a portable fish tank. So the puffer is safe in the water and you're safe from his prickly spines. Good thinking, Tweak. Octonauts, let's do this. Quasi. You swim into the whale shark's mouth. Grab Puffy, put him into the fish pack. Then I'll give you the signal. <laughs> and we'll pull you out by the rope. Aye, sounds easy enough to me. There he is. And he's going after those tiny krill. Strap on the fish pack, Quasi. Quasi? Yow! Peso, you drive. <laughs> I'm coming oh. for you, Puffy! Oh. Yeah. Oh. Ouch! Easy does it. I'll just put you in this... fish pack. Here it comes, Quasi. Thanks, Cap. Whoa! Yeah. Yeah. Follow that whale shark, Peso! Turbo booster, or we'll lose them. Oh, oh, that nervous puffer's gonna poke the whale shark's mouth. No! I meant hello! <laughs> it's Uncle Quasi here to help you get all comfy and cozy. You've got plenty of water to splash around in, right? There's nothing to worry about. We're having a really fun time here. We are? Yeah, because Uncle Quasi's going to do a funny dance for you. It's called a Try to Open the Jaws <laughs> with all your might. Search the kills for a way out. Dash back to the jaws to try again, but slip and slide on this slippery tongue and grab. <laughs> this is fun. Now what? Now it's... Story time. Uh, once upon a time, Uncle Quasi and a cute little puffer fish were waiting to be rescued by Uncle Barnacles and Uncle Peso, <laughs> who were taking forever. It's time for Plan B. When the whale shark opens his mouth, 
I'll swim in, put Puffy in the pack, and give you the signal. Cuckoo! Then I'll throw the rope and pull everyone out. Ready? Ready, Captain. Three, two, one, jump! Yeah! You can do it, Peso. Look, it's Uncle Peso. Stay calm, Puffy. We're just going to whoa, whoa. Captain, use your polar bear strength. Uh, I'm trying, but he's using his whale shark sucking strength. Whoa! And it's Uncle Barnacles. If we go through that sponge wall, we'll end up in the stomach. Grab onto the gills. Whoa. Oh, oh, I'm going oh. up the Sounds like the whale shark's about to open up for lunch. Now's our chance. <laughs> Uncle Quasi's getting you out of here. Oh. Ouch! Yow! Captain, the rope! <laughs> oh. Must have really hurt. We can't let him reach the stomach. Whoa! Phew! Hold on, Puffy! We have to get him back into water fast. Whoa. The whale shark doesn't like Puffy's sharp spike digging into him. <laughs> You can if you hold on to me. Gotcha. For lunch. Oh, where'd they go? Yeah. Follow the krill where you will. You'll never shake me. to watch out for really big fish. Or keep an eye and an eye out for them. <laughs> Why aren't there fish or any other creatures swimming around here? 
Hi. Where'd all the little fishies go? Mm. This is creepy. It's like a ghost town down here. Blech. You mean a gross town. Shellington, what is this green mess? It's algae. Algae is a common plant in the ocean. But there's a lot more here than usual. <laughs> yep, all this slimy algae keeps clogging up the octopod faster than I can clean it out. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that, Dashie. Didn't see you there behind me. <laughs> <gasps> a boss, mateys. Over here. What is it, Quasi? Look. <laughs> Professor Inkling, do you see how slowly those lobsters and crabs are moving? I do, Shellington. Very strange. Do you think it has anything to do with all this algae? Hmm, <laughs> not sure. Though this does seem familiar. <laughs> These creatures are poorly. We have to help them, Captain. Agreed. But first, we have to work out what's wrong. <laughs> Oh, poor little fellow. What do you make of this, Quasi? Never seen anything quite like it. Psst, come on, this way. All oh, this algae seems to be making them ill. Professor, have you ever heard of such a thing? I've observed this problem before, but where? <gasps> Hold on, Shellington. I can check my books. To the library! Cap, look at this! There's a leak in this pipe. Hmm. I wonder if that could be part of the... Hmm? Oh! Ah! Oh no! The octopod is taking off without us! We've got to catch the octopod! Octonauts, to the gups! Octonauts, we've got to get back on board the octopod. Quasi, activate windscreen wipers. Aye, Captain. Gup A to Octopod. Gup A to Octopod. Come in, Octopod. Professor Inkling, this is Captain Barnacles. Can you hear me? Please come in. Gup A to Octopod. Is anyone there? Come in. Hmm, now, where are my books about algae? I know they're here somewhere. No one's answering. That's odd. I was just talking to the professor a few minutes ago. I hope he's okay. Maybe he's taking a nap. Ah, if it's not the professor, then who's steering the octopod? <laughs> Ah, here we are. Algae. Uh -huh. <laughs> lots of algae. Uh -huh. Lots and lots of algae. Captain Barnacles, if I can just get close enough, I think I can grab the octopod. Go for it, Tweak. Well done! Whoa! We've got to get back on board the octopod. Are you with me, Quasi? Aye, matey. Hey, so you drive. Me? Aye, aye, sir. Octonauts, let's do this! <laughs> Close 
one. Thanks, Captain. Come on. We've got to get to the Octo Hatch. Professor Inkling could be in trouble. Yeah. All about algae. Everything about algae. Mm -hmm. Everything else about algae. Ah. <laughs> She won't open. Let me try. Sometimes it takes some polar bear strength. Combined with some cat like quickness. <laughs> ha! To, to get, get the, the job done. done. Hey, follow me. Quasi, are you seeing what I'm seeing? Shiver me whiskers, the octopod was taken by these crusty little fellas? Ahem. Uh oh. Run for it. <laughs> <laughs> We give up. You've got us. Why did you crabs and lobsters take the octopod? <laughs> and uh, why are you all coughing and wheezing? I ain't gonna lie to you. Me and my friends here, we were feeling ill. <laughs> so we, um, bothered your octopod. Because to get better, we had to leave our home and go someplace where there isn't so much algae. Jumping jellyfish! So all that algae was making you ill. But where did all that algae come from in the first place? Hmm, I wonder if the water's polluted. Polluted? Yes, that's when things get into the water that shouldn't be there, which could make the algae grow until there's too much of it. But what's polluting the water? Cap, the leaky pipe. That's right. The leaky pipe we saw must be putting something bad into the water. What about the other creatures that are still there? They may need our help. That's right, Peso. And that's why we're going back to fix that leaky pipe and clean up that extra algae. I've got it! It's right in this book. The water's polluted, which is causing too much algae to grow, which is making creatures ill! <laughs> what? Did I miss something? Octonaut, let's clean up this water. Right, right away. I'm on aye, aye. it, Cap. Welcome home. We've cleaned up the extra algae and fixed the leaky pipe that caused the algae to grow too much. Mmm, just right. Yeah, much better. Thanks, Octonauts. Sorry for taking your ship. Now you won't have to leave your home ever again. Or run away with your octopod. <laughs> <laughs> Octopod to Shellington. How's the eel watching coming along? Uh, it's a bit tricky, Captain. These garden eels are rather shy. They keep hiding in the sand. Good thing I've got all night to study them. Are you sure you'll be okay spending the night out there in the Gup E? Oh, of course. I've got enough kelp cakes and clam sandwiches to last me till morning. Well, good luck tonight. We'll check back in the morning. Octopod signing off. 
Captain, are you sure he'll be okay all alone out there? He'll be safe inside the guppy, and it looks like it's going to be a pretty quiet night. Nothing out there except one little jellyfish. What could go wrong? Let's power down for the night. on me. Look at all those jellyfish. Shellington is still out there. Quasi, sound the octo alert. <coughs> Octonaut, to the HQ. <coughs> Good morning, Octonauts. I'm sure you've noticed something strange happening outside. Professor Inkling, what's going on out there? It seems there was a jellyfish bloom overnight, Peso. Jellyfish bloom? When jellyfish find a place they like, where there's lots of food to eat and nothing around that eats them, lots of jellyfish will go to that place at the same time. It's called a bloom. Barnacles to Shellington. I think you'd better drive the Gup E back to the octopod. You'll be safer here. Well, I would drive back, but uh, I fell asleep with the lights on and... Now the Gup's batteries are nearly dead. See? Why don't you just swim home? Uh, that wouldn't be a very good idea, Quasi. These are sea nettle jellyfish. Their tentacles will sting you if you touch them. Stay where you are, Shellington. We're coming to get you. Quasi, peso, into the Gup A. <laughs> Never seen anything like this. Quasi, activate windscreen wipers. Hi, Captain. Let's move slowly. We don't want to hurt any of these jellyfish. Hmm, they're too thick to drive through. They're clogging the intakes, Captain. Right, we need to get back to the octopod and make a new plan. Activate helmets, everybody. Prepare to eject. We'll have to swim back to the octopod. Yeah! Watch out for the tentacles! Go! Oh, no you don't. Ouch! It's a jellyfish sting, all right. How does it feel? It stings. Don't worry, Captain. I know just the thing for it. Thanks, Tunip. I knew you'd have some in the kitchen. This is the best emergency treatment there is for a jellyfish sting. It smells like vinegar. It is vinegar. It should help with the stinging. Ow. How does your paw feel now? It feels better. Ugh, it smells worse. Thanks, Peso. Now, I've got to get back out there and rescue Shellington. Ah, oh, ow. Captain, you need to stay right here and rest until your paw is completely healed. Don't worry, Captain. We'll rescue Shellington. We? But we'll have to suit up first. Come on, Peso. Are you sure this is a good idea? Relax, Peso. Our deep sea suits will protect us from their stinks. We'll find Shellington, give him this extra suit, and then we'll all go home sting-free. See? I didn't feel a thing. Peso, how's it going out there? Uh, a bit rockier than we'd expected. We can't see a thing out here. Don't worry. Dashie will help guide you to Shellington. Just keep going forward until you get to the sandy sea floor. Thanks, Dashie. How are you holding up out there, Shellington? 
Well, it is starting to get a bit stuffy in here, and I'm all out of kelp cakes. Sit tight, Shellington. Quasi and Peso are on their way. It feels like we've been walking for hours. Keep going, guys. You're almost there. But we still don't see anything except jellyfish. Shellington should be down on the sandy sea floor, right at the bottom of this rocky Whoa. cliff. <laughs> Whoops, sorry, guys. <laughs> The sandy sea floor. Shellington must be close by. He could be right in front of our faces and we wouldn't be able to see him. Huh? Now, don't go wandering off, Peso. I may never find you again. It's one of Shellington's garden eels. We must be really close. There's another one. There. <laughs> Fascinating. The garden eels are even faster than you are, Quasi. Shellington, are you all right? Well, my leg keeps falling asleep, but I think I'll be okay. Come on, we've got to get back to the octopod. Put this on and let's go. Quasi, Peso, how's it going out there? Well, we found Shellington and we followed some garden eels up this cliff, but then we lost... Quasi! <laughs> gotcha! Mayday, Captain! My tail's tangled in tentacles! Help! Quasi! Come in, Quasi! Mm. Oh! <sighs> I never should have let Shellington stay out to study those garden eels. Ah, garden eels! That's it! If I can't get through the jellyfish, I'll go under them, just like the garden eels. Professor Inkling, does anything live in the rocky cliff beneath the octopod? Interesting question. As far as I know, nothing lives down there. So I wouldn't be harming any creatures if I made a tunnel through it. Not at all. There's only solid rock there. But what about your paw? Don't worry about me, Professor. Tweak? Hey, Cap. Prepare the gup D. I'm going to need some extra tunneling power. You got it, Cap. Just hold on. A garden eel living in a rocky cliff? It can't be. That's no garden eel. That's Captain, Captain Barnacles. Barnacles. Good to see you again, Shellington. Come on, we've got to hurry back to the octopod before this tunnel starts to fill up with jellyfish. Tweak, close the octa hatch. Looks like your paw has healed up nicely, Captain. You know, the jellyfish are actually kind of pretty. Aye, but not when you're tangled in their tentacles. Look at the size of that one. It's good to have you back, Shellington. Oh, thanks, Captain. <laughs> Ooh. Is that vinegar I can smell? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Captain Barnacles. I'm Matey. Come on, everyone join in. Right, let's go.